Mitt Romney rolled into Ames like a rock star. He seemed more like a celebrity than a politician at an Iowa rally. So much. That's quite an entrance, isn't it, in that summer? <laughs> Romney didn't focus on issues, but he did talk about what he called traditional American values. It's what's made us who we are, men and women of passion and vision who are willing to dream and take risks and live in a land of liberty. He painted himself as the all-American candidate by sharing stories of family vacations with his parents at the national parks. Between the stops, they would tell us about the founding of the country. Mom would read to us from a book called Men to Match My Mountains. We learned about the women and men who dreamed, who created this extraordinary country. Romney then took the opportunity to criticize President Obama. He accused him of moving away from what he called the founder's vision for America. The, the policies of our president are making us more and more like Europe, with bigger and bigger government. This is not an election just to change presidents, it's an election to save the soul of America. The room was packed and the crowd had a lot of energy but many people in the audience said they still did not know whom to vote for. I'm, I'm, I'm really out here just trying to decide which candidate to choose. I'm still undecided, but I'm, my top two candidates would be Romney and Newt Gingrich. Although many of the candidates said they're still undecided, it's Romney's business experience and family values that make him a top candidate. It wasn't easy raising five boys, and there were times when I uh, was so exasperated that I really felt like leaving home, I think, at times. Those boys almost drove me out, out of the house. But Mitt would call um, when I was really at my wit's end and remind me that my job was more important than his. For Channel 3 News, I'm Christina Winsky in Ames, Iowa.